Fucking screw you, game. Oh, in your face. Now, here's our Mog and its buddies. Let's quick save before anything else happens. I don't know when these doofuses are going to run into battle and start another fight. Uh, but we have blind people. And who was that? Oh, she's not blind anymore. What? Is that a temporary effect? Never had that happen before. Eh, ain't gonna complain about it. Oh, fuck you. Uh, anyway, uh, heal. Poof. Okay. Quick save again. That's so weird that she's immune. After the fact. Right, where are we exactly on our map? Okay, we're here. We fought through that mess. All right, so we started here, came down here, hopped that way, come down, probably hit this shit. Or did we? So let's take a back pedal here just to look. I don't know that we came down this way. We may have to come back and check that out later. Lantern King, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Lantern King, prick. That's not a way up, apparently. Greater Primal Owl Bear. Really? You guys are jokes at this point. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Lightning. Didn't mean to offend you so much. Here, sticky bomb that son of a bitch. <clears throat> Snake attack, you bastard. How do you like that? He made his reflex save, though. Suck it. Eliza's turn. Uh, turn that back on again. And Charge the bear. Look at that. Poke me in the ass. Alright, now it's Proto's turn. And while I can attack with her main weapons, might as well just sneak attack, bombard this little bitch while we have the opportunity. Let's use our cantrip trick. And bing the bear. Oh, let's pull you down. What are you doing without your mate, buddy? Octavia's turn. I'm going to have her move to here. And do it one more time if you would, madam. Ooh, that's two. Ooh, very nicely done. And he'll get an attack off. Notice how he had to move a lot. So I can have Tristan move way the hell over here. Repent. Don't shoot him up, or at least try Tristan. Um, notice how he had to move a lot. Because he had to move a lot, that means he's only going to get one attack. Best case scenario. Because they literally use their movement to get to you. If it was five foot stutter step, I think the game actually does that for the bad guys too. So notice that that will happen. But now we're here. This will hurt. Let's just beat the shit out. And like I said, kind of a joke fight. Yeah, it doesn't look like we went to this spot. So I'm going to actually go there now, guys. Because I don't know that there's not treasure there for one. And I don't know that there's not a fight that we want to deal with for another. So, actually, though, let's uh, be a little smart about this. We'll look right here. Get everybody uh, ready to cruise on down here. And the reason I wanted to, to not rush them in like that is because, again, people are going to be all out of position. Oops, see, there's something right there. Not sure what that is. So let's do a quick save just in case. Looks like an interaction. Stand with me. Interaction. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Dora, get you over here and beat this thing to death. Thank you. Why don't you do the same thing? We shall overcome. Octavia, slowly walk away, <laughs> and then we're going to canter up this bastard. Sneak attack. Sneak. Attack. Sneak you. All right, uh, Tristan's turn. Five foot stutter step away from that mess again as well. Um, we'll light you. Vine trap you. Yeah. Now, again, what will that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, coup de gras. So, we 
Out of my way. Pokey pokey for some sneak attack damage. Ooh, that Am looks I? like a hit. Oh, Jubilos, five foot stutter step away from that miss. Bomb the big one. Splash damage was almost enough to kill the other guy. Very nice. Uh, five foot stutter step for Dora. Oh. Strike! Try to hit it with one of these. Yeah, she's a tenor better. Uh, and of course, like a dumbass, I left her damn rod on, so I needed to do the cantrip first next time. Tristan, why don't you just give her a buff on that? It might help her out. Oh, look at you, Eliza, beating its ass. Joe's turn. Come up here and start poking it. Hey, look at you guys just beating shit out of stuff. Um, and again, doesn't appear to be anything fancy here except for the crap that we picked up in the treasure chest. We'll take those though. It was more about making sure we're not missing that piece of that lantern. Or that lantern. The. the the gift, the cup, the fragments that we're looking for are supposed to be scattered over here. We don't know where. It seems weird that we can't get to here, though. You see this? And there's clearly stuff here. This looks like this should be the path over. So this is clearly a bug hope that's not our spot, because if that's where we're supposed to be going to get our piece a cup, then we're screwed. I do what I must. Oh, nope. Looks like we found the piece right here. Dispatch those fools! Yeah, 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 yeah. Fragment of the Apollo. You see that? That's what we're talking about. Okay, so we got our initiative check in. Door's turn. Uh, Wild Hunt Scout, Scout, Archer. Don't so hold what back! I'm swinging it. Uh, Archer. Oh, Slug it behind us. Throw it around us, boys! Oh, wow. Did you just take out one of the guards? I die free. We'll do oh. it the hard that way. That was a dead person, quick. I don't know that there's going to be a good way of doing this um, without clear cheeses. And what I mean by that. Damn it, I forgot. It's the time. That's a stupid person. This I face the right way. What I mean by. Uh, besides the, the scump saving. Um, since we know. Once we grab the Apology, they're here on top of us in both directions. What I'll do is, before grabbing the Apology, I'll summon some skeletons or some pets or whatever over here. Leave the team up here. And then click the Apology. When they show up, the skeletons will engage those bastards first. That's clearly cheating. But whatever. Uh, I want to get this game over with, quite frankly. Um, we've been playing this for a couple hundred plus hours right now. Not that I'm... Complaining about that part, that's actually pretty involved. This so, will hurt! Point him wanting to move on. You should have run! We can engage him. He won't be able to swing on that character, but that's okay. Kick your attack on. Strike Oops. as a one! Faster than anything. Not bad work, kid. Not bad work at all. Right, we'll here Out of things. my way! Aww. Juby, can you kill this thing for me, please? Not quite. Oh, I hate that thing. Um, before door. Turn. Step back out of that mess. Let's try. Can't on this fool. 
one. Can we get the other? Uh, sadly, no. Dora, on the other hand, he can finish Strike! Yep. Don't hold back! Cool. You're flanking that guy now. Do not hold back! We shall overcome. Okay, Proto's turn. Run them through! Nice work, guys. Can't believe I did not save right after that fight. Anyway, back to what we're saying. Don't like how there's stuff over there, but again, it's clearly not the apology. Uh, I suppose I could cheese it, uh, and I can show you real quick how to do such a thing. Since it is a glitch, and it's clearly broken, this is not technically our fault. Uh, we could dimension door to the other side, sadly. Uh, as I'm not a spontaneous caster, normally that's a spell that I pick up on my Eldritch Scions. That allows us at a moment's notice to teleport. Notice that I do not have the ability to do it right now because I slotted other stuff in here. I would need the ability to teleport twice. Once over, once back, presumably. Um, so I can't do that with him. Together she doesn't we have the teleport ability. I'm she, using my temper. much like my character, Dora, has the ability to cast it over right here. But again, she hasn't prepared for it. Because why would you? It's, it's a random use kind of item. Um, Tristan, he can't teleport, I don't think, either. He's probably our best bet for this. Actually, no, I take that back. She's our best bet for this. As a wizard, does she have the ability to resummon a spell back? Outdoor adventures are good for skin and She does, see that? But they just ruin the hair. So... <laughs> To, to cheat, for instance, let's, let's show you what I'm talking about. Go to level four, take away a spell, well, it doesn't matter which one, and get your dimension door in here. Uh, you have it, don't you? Yep, there you go, like so. Now, now that it's here, she can do like this, and she can teleport in and grab the stuff. So, go like this and say mass. It's going to take the whole team. And now we're here. And the reason I say we, we can kind of do this, so that's a clashing rocks and a mass heal times two. You know, I wanted that. You know, I wanted that shit too. The downside is, is now how do we get the hell out? I do what I must. So again, still glitched. Um, and maybe it's just supposed to be here. Maybe that's the whole point of this, is it's supposed to prove to you that you need those spells. But, now what do we do? Well, uh, we could either A, see if we have a dimension door scroll, or wand for that matter. Let's actually go by name. Um, I don't think we do. Tech doors, disintegrate, displacement, yeah, it's not in there. Oh, uh, we got here. Refine traps. Ear piercing. Displacement. Death ward. Yes, he's not in there either. So again, we do not have the ability to get in here. So again, we'd have to go back to our earlier save. Now, having said that, there would be another way for us to solve this problem. Um, either A, go back to an earlier save spot, obviously, and, and rest up with at least one displacement spell available for her. So that when she uses it, we get across, grab all the loot. She resummons the spell, which was that trick I just showed you, and then we teleport back over. Problem solved, easy peasy, punk and squeezy. But that's also annoying. Tristan, on Too the other fighting. hand, he has a spell like, uh, or spell, excuse me, uh, that could help us out in this regard. Let me find it for you first. Right here. Lesser Miracle. Allows him to duplicate any sixth level spell or lower, period. Across the board. And again, we can do that. So. Uh, I believe it's going to be level four. Take a look. Yay. Now, in this list is where you'll find it. See that? Mass dimension door. And again, instant use. Now, we loot the place. Again, still maintain that it was worth doing. And now, again, he uses that same spell. Level four. To give us the ability to mass teleport back. Let me 
Just like that, we're good to go. What did we pick up for our effort? Uh, clashing Rocks. Fay Bane. Cold Iron Tongue. You don't even rarely see these goddamn weapons at all. Uh, natural Armor plus 5 Necklace, which most people already on my team have that. So again, really didn't do a whole lot of good. But the Mass Heal Spells, the Scrolls, was actually useful. So don't kid yourself. This wasn't a bad exercise in any stretch of the imagination. Uh, she's actually wounded enough that I might so, just start to worry a little. Ideas? Let us you not have, hesitate. Yeah, you well, let's get you to heal her a little. Tashani Savitur. Tashani Savitur. Rather, yeah, her being the, the 210 or 200 plus category. And here we go. Responding to Lori. If I do the skeleton army, like yay. I'm always ready. Eldori there, Giovanni Eldori actually flanked that bastard properly for me, so. Oh, not quite. Again, that's what the skeletons are all for. Giving us time to come back here and do shit like this. Gone to the dark side. All right, let's come over here with the Liza. Strike as one. Again, she'll help scare and intimidate this bastard. That might help us. Proto. Out of my way. Make it center better. Roll the nine. It's okay. No fault. Skeletons though will keep these guys busy. Blinded her, see that? Uh, Octavia, though, you can come back here, hon, give us a helping hand. Do your little cantrip trick to uh, blast it back here. Again. Take that. Hell yeah, it's half dead. Now they're gonna flank, so that'll help. Tristan, I want you to come way the hell up here and help us out. Uh, you're gonna buff Dora up. That's not only a bonus to his saves, but also a bonus to his armor and to his swing for six seconds. Now that don't sound like much, but since we're doing combat bait or round based combat here with the, the turn based combat, I should say, um, I literally can control that attack a lot better than you would. You should have run! So if you look at my swing, for instance, you'll see the blessing of the faithful, the sacred blessing plus two. That's a solid bonus. Again, it's still on me. It takes six seconds to burn off. That was a two-second charge in there. So, while they're attacking me, hopefully I'll have the ability to tank. So to speak. Lost, uh, uh, tangle foot uh, this bastard. These two are about to take this guy out. Check some potions. Like a true hero would. Boozer. Do not All right, pull back. Smack, smack. Yeah, all that stick deck love in there. We shall overcome. Your turn. Run them through. Ha! Just fuck this world up. I would hate to see that character strength stats at right now. Uh, matter of fact, can we even check that? I bet you we can. Normally a strength of 24. And we just debuff their strength like fucking I have no idea what it's at right now. But she hit him at least five times. So it's probably at like a 14 right now. But they're deck space characters anyway. So it's not really a problem per se. Just saying for like a, like a troll. That would have been an amazing debuff on the troll right there. Uh, Octavia... Yeah. One more. A good sneak attack, but I don't care. Yeah. Kind of hoping for some damage there, kid. Tristan. Um. Oh, no. 
story. Why not? There you go, honey. I love you. Doris turn to some ass. Got us for some sneak attack. Oh, I think that was all Dory. You lost my trouble, Dory. Um, for one time, my friend. Finish this guy off and then help him. Yeah, to, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna die in the combat round before we can get down there. Dover's turn. He should be dead. Don't hold back! There we go. Oh shit. Just teleport more dudes in on us? You dick. And we're down here. Uh, yeah. Bastards. Okay, uh, Jubilos, you come up here. You can use your help. Uh, Tanglefoot bomb. Uh, yeah, nice job. It's okay, this is just a skull. Okay, Liza, let's activate this. Five foot star step and yeah, start working on this. Strike yeah. as one. Yeah. Get him. Kill him once more. Proto, your turn. Die! Oh, I am superior! Yeah, she did. Alright, now we're down to two. Scout and scout. Not bad. Octavia. Uh, I think I'm going to retreat you over to this mess up here. These guys are less likely to be his murderer. Um. Okay, trip, sure, why not? Here's a problem on the left side. Tristan now. Um, Dora. Five foot stutter set. This will hurt. Step. Do not hold Scout. back. No joy. Proto, your turn. Out of my oh, way! Again. Ah. Ah. You got one of them. Run them through. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Okay, this turn. Way the hell over here. Oh, uh, and this guy's down on the ground. Uh, I think we want to actually lock a few. Uh, oh, might as well use the candor then on this guy. Christian. You forced my hand. This guy's not paralyzed. Uh, I think she made her save. You can tell because she's swaying back and forth. See that? So they're just uh, tangled. Up Again, she can break out of that in the next combat round. But one of the great things about Icy Prison is they're either paralyzed in the first round and entangled, which doesn't matter, or they're just entangled. 
So at the very least, for one goddamn round, you got them for at least something. Then on the next round after that, doesn't matter if they're paralyzed or entangled, or, you know, or both, um, they literally, uh, or they literally can break out of that if they are lucky enough to. So it's a spell that lasts for at least six, or six seconds. Excuse me. So that's something. I mean, I know that doesn't sound like much, but compared to some of your other spells, which are straight up save or suck spells, you'd rather have at least a spell that has an effect. Overcome. Even if it's for just that one round, you and your team can hopefully capitalize on that shit. Whether it's you, your teammates, your pets, that's a, a big boon. Major boon. So Let's hear you cry. Kill this uh. thing, sneak it back. Drown in blood. Bitch lately. Good job, Proto. I need to leave you on the blades right now. You've been crushing it with those blades. I actually need to give those spells probably to Octavia. She can definitely use the permanent use uh, uh, scorching ray. Oh, devil. I guess he already broke out of the effects of the over here. I'll try to make this swift. Christian, might as well just buff Dora. Dora's turn. This will hurt. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mother freaking hell, man. How what we got? We got uh Jubilosts. So there's something standing here. Okay, uh, force bomb time. A clever Good boy. <laughs> Elias' turn. Five foot stutters. Yeah, damn it, there's another one over here, too. Strike <laughs> as one. Proto, five foot stutter step. Out of my guy. way. <laughs> Fighting all this time. <laughs> Oh, goddamn there, then another one here, and that goddamn floaty one. Jesus Christ, we're getting mugged over here. Uh, we may need to get some skeletons or something. I don't feel for that shit. Um, force beating the hell out of this prick. Shut this off. I don't fuck that up again. You mean to do the damage, but at least not the, uh, not the battering part of it. It's a lot of attacks. That guy just like smacks you like once. Uh, Jube lost. Ah, oh, primitive. Hey, go, Thank you, buddy. Now you can come down here and help these people out. Alright, Eliza, what are we working on here? I'm a five foot stutter step. Come up this way. Do not hold back. Trying to flank these guys to keep them from getting out of Jube lost. 
Proto's turn. Run them through! Not bad, kid, not bad. Octavia, you need a side step away from that bastard. Oh, hell, he's on the ground. Um. Poop. Pay spell. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it, did it again. Tristan, buff up uh, Dora. I want to heal on him on the next turn. He's really low in health. That's it. Dodging like a champ, I tell you what. A five foot stutter step. Strike this thing. Thank you. I'll leave Dora up here to fuck with that by himself, but everyone else can come down here and help out now. Uh, hit Will the, they the ever whiskey. learn? Nice. Uh, <laughs> really help as well. Everyone else, though, we need a dog pile. We on shall rabbit. overcome. Let's hear you cry. Look at that sneak attack on Angie. Uh, Octavia, you killed him all the way down here, honey bear. And it's cancer time. Still not quite good enough. Tristan, A, we heal. That's one of the reasons I wasn't healing him. I knew there was a reason. It's because I wanted to be closer to my other teammates to make sure that I wasn't wasting the heat. Uh, Dora, you're doing great. This will hurt. Too hard. There we go. It looks like this is the last fight A for this. Use of my I love how the blind character knows exactly where to move. <laughs> Just really. Attack! It's something that they never really role played on the A and B. I mean, we, we ascribe to the whole, yeah, you're blind, but no one in the team is like, and I, I put a string on his hand so he can follow me via, by attaching it to my belt or anything like that. Nah, I was Die! never really to shit about the game to do shit like that. But let's face it, if you were blinded in the dungeon, especially if you were deep in the dungeon, was anyone on your team going to help you out? I mean, like, literally, like, whoa. We'll do a pass on all this treasure and fighting just to walk you out here. Hold my hand. I'll, I'll lead you out the door. No, you didn't. You bullshit. Nobody does that. They just... Oh, yeah, he's blind, so he has a penalty to his swing. <laughs> it's, it's like everybody's senses, senses become heightened or some shit just because they're like, Oh, yeah, I totally was going to you know, be awesome with being blind because it's a magic thing. So, I don't know. I always thought it was funny. All right, so that guy's dead, so now Dora can double move it all the way down. You this should have run! Strike! She lost it. A clever ploy. And that's the name of that tune. Good job. Right, team. Good job. Lots of loots. Poor Jemani, she lost some guards. I have to admit, I prefer brawling with the first world to Bremen politics. I'm there. Really? Because you're blind. <laughs> you wouldn't think you'd like that quite as much. I want that, though. I do what I must. You want that thing, but I've created a new scroll to summon older worm. What? Kagar. Warmblood, go careful. Live metal stand in our way. Kill many fellow longtail. What is this live metal? Black scary make much noise. Oh, I think it's a uh, construct. Spells cannot hurt it. It can heal itself very strong. I don't know where this live metal came from. It come from a big broken cup. With it come a warm blood shadow, short and crown, bush of hair on face. Yes, yeah, the goddamn dwarves. Metal is shadow too. I see. They come fast and want to turn them kingdom bad. When dead shadows walk, they attack us. Longtail arrows kill. Warm blood shadow. Metal very angry. 
Yeah, thanks for the warning. I have to go. I find this. You take it. It make black metal not heal. Long tail cannot defeat it, but you can. Ooh, the stone cutter. You was a badass buddy. Thanks, Kagar. Normally, uh, lizard folk hate me. Uh, warm bloods, but they they took some liberties, I think. Well, maybe I'm thinking D&D. &D. There's a difference. Pathfinder Kingmaker is not the same. The stone cutter axe is a hand axe. A uh, nice plus five hand axe that's construct bane, adamantine. So it literally just cuts right through the fuckers. That's a solid, solid weapon. And I keep forgetting the hand axes are light weapons, no less. That'd be an interesting build for a um, rogue type to go hand, all hand axe on someone. Go all Ginsu chef on their ass. Alright, uh, I feel like we have everything here. Um, a quick save here and get inside. You know what? Fuck it. Let's take it just to clear the damn map. Just so we don't have to think about. Did I forget something? Well, we got our second cup piece. I'm off. Yeah, I'm going. Now on that, uh, remember our love of this. Uh, buff right here, the brilliant energy buff. This is the one that literally turns your weapon into a touch attack. So literally, it ignores their armor, armor class, and their shield armor class. All kinds of shit that they fucking lose for that. And again, with me being able to scare targets, ideally I can make them flat-footed. You throw that in, flat-footed targets, all they have to go by usually is their armor class, their armor, armor class, and their shield armor class, because they're flat-footed. I can take that away using this. The downside is, is at the very bottom of this, you need to pay attention. A brilliant energy weapon cannot harm undead constructs or objects. So again, completely useless on this prick. Uh, having said that, I do have a weapon currently equipped that is a brilliant energy weapon. So this bagger ain't going to do fuck all against this guy more likely than not. But let's uh, increase our uh, chance to crit. Not a chance to crit our... Um, this spell works differently. Uh, what do you call it? This wound! My uh, gift crit, to uh, you! Magnify. There it is. Times five. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Screw you. That was pretty sweet. How did that go? Whoa, that was solid hit, Dora. Love you, buddy. Uh, now, again, it says immune to spells. That doesn't necessarily mean it's immune to all things. So let's try the handcuffs. Yeah, see, it's still good sneak attack love. So, and this is the one that, again, doesn't have spell resistance. That's the key here. So snowball spells would work against some of these fuckers. Uh, but so can apparently clubbing it in the head. Strike oh. as one. Sneak attack. It has a shadow shield on it though, so it heals itself. Proto. Um, fuck it. Out of my way! way well. mm. It's not the best. GB. This is our probably last fight. Will they ever so learn? Boom. 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 Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, Jubal lost. Turn that back off. Tristian. Five foot. Stood, stood. And shoot. So it's come to this. Not that it'll do anything, but you never know. Ooh, now that particular effect is Caustic Eruption. This is a spell that I have on our wizard that I've yet to be able to use because she's always surrounded by our team protecting her. So I probably should take it off with a goddamn list, quite frankly. But this is an amazing acid spell. Notice this part, no spell resistance. AOE, not teammate friendly, hence the blue and the red. And the same thing, so enemies and allies get hurt with it. That's why I don't use it with her. Uh, it's reflex save for half the damage, but it does 20d6 of damage, and then it ticks for damage after that for two more rounds if you fail your check. So we could be really in a pickle here if we don't want to take this thing out sooner than later. But don't hold driving. back. So, <laughs> there we go. And we'll have Tristan. Battles are wait. We'll Together her. we stand. I know it's a waste of a spell, you may think, but uh, we're gonna ask. Oh, that's because the ticking can still hurt her. Ah! Yeah. So at the very least, we reduced right it. Right here, my friend. It only lasts for like two rounds, so it's over now. But she's hurting bad. And I will not see a whole lot we through. can do about that. 
Healing, kiddo. Lame ass healing. But we just took that thing out. I'm there. What did I just pick up? Oh, belt of physical perfection. Another plus eight belt. Well, all right, team. In due time. Looks like we have another uh, planned egress spot. Now the question is, first, we need to heal, or heal, we need to see if anyone can use that belt. I have it, see that already, remember I have the plus eight and the plus eight already. Uh, she has the belt plus eight already. She's using the belt of perfect, uh, greater belt of perfect components for obvious reasons. She, he has Bombardier's belt because it gets some extra bombs a day, we definitely want that. He's using a physical flow belt. Now, that's not the worst idea to give him an 8, 8, and 8 because he's at a 4 and a 4, and that's only for strength and dex. His con's going up, but that's because of his cloak, and it's only plus 4. So if I gave him this belt, this would go up another 4, and these ones, yeah, these would all go up another 4. So we have a 19, a 20, and a 20. That's not bad. That's definitely something of value. For her, she can get it, but she's not going to gain that much of a benefit from it. She'll get a bonus. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's not as impressive as what Tristan's getting out of it. So we'll give it to Tristan. Now, he doesn't need this cloak anymore. Uh, if I were smart about that, I'd see if there's a better cloak for him to wear. For instance, cloak of resistance, plus five. Better saves. Cross the board. Hail to the yeah. All right. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's do a quick save here. And... The question is, is, do we go here, we will, uh, or do we go back to, uh, what's his name, the storyteller? Give him the cup fragment, have him destroy it, and rest, and then go here. So again, that's why we're saving here first, so that we have the option. So we're going to go inside, see what it is. If it's another zone, I'll say, fuck it, let's go back to the other guy. Looks like it's another zone. If it's just a building, you know, like the, the basement of this building that we just fell into, and we'll like scour its area and be done with it and then come right back out, then that's fine. But if not, then I want to go back to my earlier save uh, and then head over to what's his face. Yeah, because it's looking like it's not. Yeah, it's a whole new goddamn map. So, go back to our earlier save. We'll head back to the storyteller first. So we're clearing a map every time is the goal here. By doing this, yes, we're burning up time. We had like 16 days or some shit on our curse. So we have plenty of time to beat this bastard, and that's to our benefit. Because why, you know, struggle with fights when it's like, oh, my buffs are wearing off, and all this fight's taking forever. You know, why do that to yourself? Go take a knee, burn up an eight-hour time period, that's perfectly fine, and then uh, go back out refreshed and kick some serious ass. So we go back to here. He's got wings. Run! <laughs> Coming for you. Fucking kick you right in the goddamn end, you look so. Again, just in case this fucks something up, you never know. Fragment. Another one, Your Highness? Good. I feel the wall of power that encloses your former residence is slowly melting. Three fragments may be enough to clear a path. Boom. Nice. Need rest. Oh, yeah, running out. That didn't take very long at all. Journal says we have 16 days, 10 hours. We're fine. Soup's fine. I do what I must. Here we go. And the 
of gave us the chance to get Proto Lich back to full strength uh, health. So that's another reason I wanted to do that. Um, we're going to go to that area and probably save here and call it quits for the day. It's getting hot in my apartment already. Um, it's been about just under two hours. So it's reasonably good time to stop so I can do this. Um, we'll come back again tomorrow and take on this next area. More likely than not finish it off. Uh, and I got a feeling that that'll be the third cut piece that'll be enough to break the walls and then we go fight the main bad guy. Now I don't know if that's another big area. So far we're having fun in these areas, I must admit. And they're not easy fights by any stretch of the imagination, but we're getting really, really, um, I don't want to say lucky. Um, we well prepared, let's say it that way. We have a well prepared team. Oh, damn it, I just saw something I messed up. I need to stop the game. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do something else. Go back to that earlier save. Uh, we saved just before we talked to um, the storyteller. And the reason for that is, is that when I rested, I forgot to shut something off when we were done resting. So, here we go. Storyteller. Fragments. Nice. Click it. Rest. Yes. Now. Notice this shit. What's the hold up? See that right there, the invisible thief? That's the that's the bug. That's the part that pisses me off. Um, she burns it all up. Quiet. Like she's supposed to no in combat. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not complaining about that at all. It's the, the fact that it doesn't shut itself off after combat. If it shut itself off after combat, then at the very least you wouldn't be burning it up. And the fact that it burns all the way down to zero, you rest, and if you forget to shut it back off again... You never have those charges again. It keeps keep burning up, and you're like, "Oh, this is broken. It's not broken. It's just not working properly." And I know that's that sound like much of a distinction. What I mean is, is the toggle still running? When you took a knee, when I got here that last time, I said, "Nope, we're not doing that." I saw that she was invisible. She has a purple aura on her. I'm like, "What the hell?" Like, oh shit, that's right. She has that toggle on, and I forgot. That's why I shut it off. Because that toggle is extremely useful. If I ever need to sneak attack somebody, she has like 10 rounds per day she can use that. And you see we already used up one of those goddamn rounds by taking a knee. That's the glitch. That's the part of uh, that glitch. That's the, the mechanic that's broken. So, uh, that if the devs were... I don't want to say paying attention. If the devs uh, were informed of this and cared enough about it to figure out how to solve that problem. Which I know they can do. And the reason I say this... Uh, is this. Uh, we have other things that shut off time after has combat. Come. For instance, when you have that thing on, she uh, combat ends, it shuts off. When she runs out of charges, she takes a knee, it's not back on and the toggle's not on there. At least I don't think it is. So again, it's not like mm -hmm. this one where if I leave this on and the toggle burns down to zero rounds of use, that when she takes a knee, it's not back on again. See what I'm saying? If, if you burn up the last charge, what should happen is the toggle's officially off. Period. So when she takes a knee, it's waiting for her again. She has all ten charges again. Or ten rounds of knees. So, it's just what it is. It's just weird. So we're going to go down here. I'm not going to buff up till we get down here. And we'll show you that again tomorrow when we start this video proper. So I'll do a hard save and a quick save downstairs. Well, let's do the hard save first. Saved. Quick save. Keep saved. Okay. We get here. Ring of circumstances. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, just to give you a heads up of where we're at. Jesus. Oh, this has got to be our main. Is this our base? Our main uh, captain. Uh, so we got Kagar, Mager. Storytellers here even. Oh wow, so we're gonna be able to rest here now. That's gonna be nice. And Jamandi's here even. Right on. Uh looks like we have a path through here. Probably up fucking up all this shit. Like yay, looking for the cup piece. Might be right there. Looks like a ramp that leads up. Ooh, looks like the barrier. Oh, that might be the wall he's talking about. 
uh, the, the last cup barrier. So we'll probably find it before here because that's the barrier that he's probably dropping with uh, the fractured cup that he's using. Oh, so we have places down here to go. We should probably a, a drop down spot just to get some treasure or some shit here. Uh, looks like ooh, shit. Uh, looks like the edge over here. It's probably nothing really at this way. Just just some fights and shit to deal with. Uh, but once we we find the cup fragment, bust the barrier, this part will probably drop is my guess, and then we'll come up into here, and this will be the last big hurrah. I hope might be actually inside. It makes more sense um, in my throne room because he's probably being in my throne room being all dickish. But that's for tomorrow. And maybe that'll be the end of our video. Who knows? But with that, my name is Brother Ian. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.